hey there what's up guys welcome to blender Viz. and in today's video i'm gonna show you how to add these droplets to your can or any product using geometry nodes and it's a very simple process so not wasting our time let's get started so this is the can and first we will start by splitting the screen then open geometry nodes and then select the can and press on new so here you will get these two nodes and now before starting let's first add an icosphere so go to mesh and icosphere just place it somewhere here and open the shader editor add a new material to the icosphere then uh, inside the transmission section increase the weight to one and just reduce the roughness so you know, you'll get this you know droplet look on the icosphere so reduce the roughness to let's say 0.3 all right now click on the can again and then go into, go into the geometry node editor now let's first add join geometry so search for join geometry node and just place it here and now search for distribute points on faces and just place it now you can see we have this droplets now just connect this geometry to geometry and you can see we get this thing here on the can we have all the icosphere's on the can now the next thing you have to do is just click on the icosphere and add the node here which we will be using later now search for instance on points just place it here and connect the geometry to instance now you can see we got this weird looking shape but yeah no worries you can adjust it by adding a random value node so search for random value and connect value to scale you can still see there is not much happening so search for map range and then add this here and now you can just reduce the max value to let's say it's 0 0.03 you can see we have this nice looking droplets now let's increase to 0 0.04 and yeah you have added the droplets now also if you want to increase the number of droplets for that you have to just connect this group input to density and uh, if you go into the modifiers tab you can see geometry node modifier added and just increase the density value let's increase it to 30 then you have this more droplets added on the can and yeah you can just play with the value for now let's just keep it to 15 yeah this looks good and yeah so this is how you add droplets on the can using geometry nodes so guys i hope you like the video and if you like it then please hit that like and subscribe button and also comment that will help me and yeah thank you so much for watching and see you again soon